Hello and good morning again. It's the 6th of January, about quarter past 10 in the morning. So this is the second church I wanted to show everybody. Um, I'm literally four minutes walk away from the first church that we saw, which was Christ Church. And this is um, St. Catherine's of Alexandria Church in Pittsmore. And it is such an impressive building. It's uh, an impressive building, no less impressive or no more impressive than the previous one. The difference is, of course, that this was done in red brick. And I always find these things a bit odd because, possibly because I'm a bit ignorant, to be fair, that you'd get a church within four or five minutes walk of another church and then two minutes away from another church. But it happens that there are different denominations and that's why. This one is a classic. This one is a Catholic church, as it says, you can probably see on the building. And walking down, I'm sorry about this being a bit shaky, I'm just walking down and panning sideways, trying not to bump into anybody or fall over or anything like that. Um, the vicarage is that building next door, the very first building over there. And obviously that building over there opposite was something in relation to it, but not any longer. What I like about this one is you can't see bells, but you can certainly see through. You can see daylight on the other side. And the big window, the circular window, is really impressive as well. Um, this is, a, as I say, a Catholic church, and it was built very differently and has a very different history. Uh, it, it's quite a strong history that it has. Um, you find that churches, Catholic churches tend to have a lot more motifs, so there's a lot more crucifixes on here. You can see them on the... Uh, on the stairwell as we get into it I'll just walk very quickly around the grounds if I can but I'm going to come down because it's a it's an impressive building whichever way you look at it and as I say we're opposite a very very busy main road and that's where it happens to be situated now and obviously it had a congregation that it was looking after and it still has a congregation it is a working church but this one has a, a particularly interesting history to me um, Basically, this church was built as a result of the Irish potato famine in 1846. Uh, as a result of that situation, the famine that occurred, there were a huge number of immigrants from Ireland who came over to the UK, into England, and lots of them came over and settled in Sheffield. Now, these are people who had suffered a great deal of loss and destitution and difficulty. I'm going to cross the road. Just bear with me if I get a bit shaky because it is a busy road. Here we go. So, what you had at the same time was the growth of this city. Sheffield was becoming uh, a major place in terms of population and things that were going on. Sheffield is steel town. It was famous for steel, as you know. Um, so what happened a prominent local Catholic was the Duke of Norfolk and he actually gave this site this plot of land it's a triangular plot of land although it's not as obvious but it's a triangular plot of land I think once you get to that bit there it does become a bit more obvious that that's what it is um, he gave this land to them See this, the, the crucifix on the top looks like it's a lead one or a metal one that's interesting is there a bell there? Yeah, there is. There's a bell. You can just about see it, I think. Or maybe it's just me looking at the... Uh... Yeah, there is. There's a bell. Right, OK. Um... So he gave it for the building of a school and a temporary church. Uh, in 1876, the presbytery was built, which is adjacent to the church, which I think is this building here. And the whole cost of this church at that time and, um, and the Presbytery worked out at being around £6,650. And the parish priest was a chap called Father Luke Burke, so that's definitely how that worked. Now, if you consider that the church we looked at previously was built in 1850 for £2,000, and that was 3,000, that's 310,000 in today's money. 
this was three times more expensive. So this was nearly a million pound project, comparatively. So this is what the Duke of Norfolk did. So I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna move over here because this, as you can see, this is the Presbytery of the old school church. And it's still church land, of course, because it comes right the way over to here. And then we start having houses once you get past this point. Well, that's somebody's house there. And then that's the back of the Presbytery there. And then you're gonna look over to this side and it's the church proper. Now, as I said, it is a working church. Uh, I do have a, a neighbor who's three or four doors down from me and she attends the services regularly on a Sunday. So I do know it's a, it's a working church. Obviously the population is diverse. Uh, I don't know how much community work this one does comparatively because we were very lucky in the previous one and I'll, I'll put a link in at the end <laughs> for the first church that we looked at. We were very lucky because, uh, it's interesting. I don't know what that was for. It looks old as well. Yeah, she uh, gave us some information because we just happened to meet the nice lady who wanted to talk to us. I was happy to sort of ask us what we were doing and happy for us to uh, do a little bit of filming. That was nice of her, wasn't it? Again, you can see the motif, again, the, the crucifix motif on all of these. So I'm going to go... I'm going to head left. Here we go. There we go. I can see a local community. Ironically, that building in the corner is yet another church. It's a Methodist church. We'll have a quick look at that today as well. Okay, so this gives you a bit of a view of the Sheffield area that we're in and the view from the church. We're not that high up, but there is quite the vista there. And then you have this. Look at that. That is just an amazing piece of architecture. I'm going to get a little bit closer, just so that I can have a look at these. So that one says, St. Teresa Jesu Floscula. Uh, apologies for my pronunciation. The St. Catherine's bit is quite new. I didn't realise it was St. Catherine's of Alexandria. I'm not sure who she is. I'll certainly find out. And if I get a link, I'll let you know. So that's... Ah, that gives you a clue. St. Catherina Virgo Martyr. So a virgin and a martyr. She obviously died for her faith uh, and her beliefs. Wherever you get people of faith, you generally find people who are possibly going to uh, abuse you because of your faith. It's just the way of the world, unfortunately. Regardless of church, creed, denomination. Here we go. That says SG, I'm not sure why. This is the doorway into the bell tower. As I say, I'm not sure. I keep thinking that it might or it might not. I can't tell if it has a bell still in it. Side entrance here. Mary and child, I'm assuming. It's quite nice that they built that in a little spot there. It's beautiful, isn't it? What a lovely statue. Well, statue, I suppose. I always think of a statue of being full size, at least same size as a, a human being or a person rather than uh, something smaller which I always think of as a statuette but a statuette neighbor well is, I'm going off topic aren't I sorry <laughs> that's not usual for me let's have a look at this side over here so I'm gonna have a quick nosy on this side and then I think I will call that the day because I don't like to sort of be here without somebody being aware of it or allowing it I think I I feel like I'm intruding a little bit, but I do know it's open space, so technically it's okay for me to kind of be here legally. I just wouldn't want to offend anybody's sensibilities. Okay, let's just go around the back over here. This might be the uh, where the power is, because it's still on the site and it's got the grills on it. It looks like one of those spots where you may have either storage 
or power or something like that. Yeah, there is a doorway there. Yeah, electric. So I'm assuming it might be a substation for the electric. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this wall. This wall is older than the church. So this must denote the, the, the border or the triangular border that the Duke of Norfolk had at the time for the place. There we go. Lovely windows. They've got double glazed windows on the outside and stained glass windows on the in. Uh, that says donor Mr. Owen Clark backwards but as you pan back you can see it's got double glazing on the outside and preserved the stained glass window on the inside look at that look at that bit of wall there that's quite a bit oh, wow. interesting isn't it okay and there we go can't really see the windows well but there's a crucifix at the top I think the style is similar but they were all donated windows this one I'm reading backwards again. This is in memory. James Gallagher. In memory of James Gallagher. Yes, it's backwards, but you've got it. And then this one. Very quickly, if I can read it. Donor, Mr. and Mrs. Something House, Morehouse. Mr. and Mrs. Morehouse. All of the windows are the same style. Quite big windows to be fair, so there's quite a lot there. So there's donations as well, that's nice. I'm assuming that is obviously from the local Catholic community to say, here is something I'm giving to the church. And uh, just in the path of God, and round windows there, more windows at the top, and then the building itself, which is still stunning. Okay guys, I'm going to back off slowly just to get back to the uh, the exit here or the entrance as you will and then I'll stop that once I get onto the main road and I get a shot of the whole place which is about here so I hope you liked this one it's a bit noisy, I've got a bus next to me here as you can see life goes on in the uh, in the world this, uh, this place of ours okay so um, I'm going to call it a day here with a view of this hugely impressive building that's uh, 500 yards or uh, maybe a kilometre away from my home uh, and about 500 yards from the first one that we saw and uh, yeah if you liked it by all means hit me a like and I'll see you on the next one thanks very much bye